Today's the day. <laughs> I'm actually uh, won a small trailer on eBay. So I'm just off to Berry, um, where I was fishing last time. And uh, to actually pick up this trailer, so it's good. Yeah, that's a little trailer I've got. So I won't be fitting too much scrap in it, but I'll be alright. So the trailer's on. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? No matter what, the trailer will fly off or something. Ooh, excited. <laughs> Bounces around a bit. So there's beeping. Why is someone beeping? <laughs> like I shouldn't beep when I indicate. What the hell? And now when I indicate when I'm towing the trailer, it beeps. My car beeps. What's all that about? Oh well. So first obstacle of a come to my first bridge this is where I left a bit of scrap uh, the other day so I could collect it so hopefully this scrap's still here but I've got a really tight turn <laughs> on a single track road and uh, yeah I need to turn around so let's, uh, let's see if I can reverse this trailer so we can zoom in on the trailer at the back the trailer's not even straight So it's opposite. So I want the trailer to go left. I need to do right and down. Oh, Jesus. That trailer moves really quick. <laughs> I saw James May do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw James May do it on Top Gear. And uh, makes it. It just shows you how hard it is. So any little adjustment. Oh, there's a bollard behind me and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Failed. One hour later. Nah, I'm taking it off. <laughs> I quit already. Yep. So here's some of this scrap we pulled out the other day. Um, there was two kids scooters there, but they've already been taken. Um, but yeah, this scrap metal weighs a ton. So... <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, I'm on my own today. There's quite a bit. Oh, now to get the rest. Some smaller stuff to fill the bottom. These are interesting things we found the other day. Not too sure what it is. No idea. The joys, you never know what you're going to find. More fencing. And then I'll take it to the scrapyard once I've got a decent pile and see what money we can make out of it. Football. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm just uh, hitting the bridges along the canal, uh, just using Google Maps to uh, see if anybody's left any scrap, scrap metal behind. In general, I'll leave it at the side of the bridge. So that side's pretty clean. Let's try this side. Yep, so it looks like, uh, actually it looks like, looks like nobody's been uh, magnet fishing here, which is uh, quite rare. But yeah, so I marked this down as a bridge that's not been done before, uh, just because there's no scrap metal. But I'll, I'll carry on going uh, and see what metal we can find. 
So we've got anything. I remember last time there was loads of uh, DVLA wheel comps. Cause I've been here a few weeks ago, so it's like it's like somebody's took it. Either that or I chucked them back in the water. Nah, the bridge is clean. But ah, look, somebody's chucked them back in the water. I can see the DVLA wheel comp there. So I brought the magnet in the car, so I might get that out and uh, see if somebody's chucked them back in. Box there, looks like a wheel. Might be a bike. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go and get the uh, magnet. Let's see what we can find. So today I'm using the uh, 200 kilogram double sided. They all wear quite a lot as well, these wheel comps. Because the tubes get full of water. Yeah, this one there uh, was quite new, still got the chain on it. That's one down. Let's see what else is in here. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I've had this pretty much since I've been magnet, been magnet fishing for 12 months. And uh, I've always had this magnet. And this is probably the best all round magnet you can buy. As usual, I'll put a link to it in the description. Could be a shopping trolley, could be anything. But yeah, I ain't got a, I ain't got a long time to fish today. Only got a short short period, so I'm gonna have to be pretty quick and pretty selective. It's like a perfume bottle or something. It's floating in the water. Always always try underneath bridges as well, and that's because. Have you got any shady characters that have stolen a purse or a small cash box or a safe? Um, they generally hide under the bridges to empty them and then chuck them in. I always try near the edges if somebody's dropped something. I'll just roll, roll straight into the water. And that's this one. That's just steel bar, I think. Still, some of these fish there before a couple of weeks ago, and uh, all the metal was piled up at the side of the bridge. There's a bike, uh, a couple of wheel comps. So I think someone's just chucked them back in rather than getting rid of them. But I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of people's scrap. I think next time as well, I'll bring the grappling up. Because grappling hooks are good for bikes and shopping trolleys. You pull them straight out. I didn't expect to be magnet fishing today. Car wing. What do you call it in America? Is it a fender? Oh, well, that's off. Golf, maybe. Bubbles. Is that a wheel cam? Yes, it's another wheel comp. Can't believe how heavy these things are. Mad. A DV layer one. Yep, and for anybody who uh, in the comments say uh, this could be classed as theft by finding, I'm, uh, I'm just storing it. So that's DVLA wheel comp. In whoever's wing this is, I'll uh, I'll store it for you. I'm gonna charge you a storage fee of uh, 20 20 pound a day, I reckon. So DVLA, if you want your wheel comp, comp back. Today is the 6th of January 2019, and uh, you're welcome to have it back at 20 pound a day storage. If you don't collect it within 28 days. And it'll be getting recycled. <laughs> That's what they did to us, isn't it? When they uh, impound the cars, give you 28 days to uh, to go and pay your recovery fees and to get it out. So, like, for anybody who's not from the UK, like 
the uh, the, the people who choose not to pay the road tax, which I always pay mine, but for the people who don't pay the road tax, the police will impound you, get your car taken off you. A recovery company will impound it, and you've got to pay a recovery fee of, I don't know what it is, I've never paid it, but it's about at least 100 quid. And then they charge you about 25 quid a day storage. Then after 28 days, if you don't pay it, they can legally, that company can legally then sell your car at the auction and keep your money. So I'm going to do the same. And the reason I put it over the wall is uh, it says we keep walking all the way around, around uh, to pick up the scrap. And then the car's up there, but the, uh, the bit I'm dreading is uh, turning around because I've parked on a little road. Oh well, and I tell you, my dream is to live in a canal boat. We're going to retire, just chill out, enjoy life, nice peaceful life. A little uh, wood burning stove, a bit of fishing, a bit of magnet fishing, and uh, happy days. Anyway, I'm going to get scrap loaded up, and then off to the next bridge. This is going to be the fun bit. I need to get around this corner and then to turn around. Um, <laughs> but as you saw in the last bit, it was a nightmare to reverse. Um, but let's see, uh, let's see how long it takes me to do this bit. Well, before the camera fell over, <laughs> did, it in one, did it in one go. Well chuffed with that. Only had the trailer a couple of hours. Um, but yes, yeah, starting to float nicely already. So, off to bridge number four. So we can find there. This, uh, we're at bridge number four now. I've actually done this bridge before. Um, I'm not too sure if this is a bridge where uh, me and Alex found that um, little box full of jewellery. So, I'm not expecting to find uh, metal at the side of the bridges. Um, just because the uh, we had a scrap man come and collect it. What I am looking for is, uh, since we've been here, if there's any yellow wheel clamps in the water. And they're quite obvious to see because of uh, big giant yellow shaped things. But, uh, no, he's dumped any since. Let's try this side. All these ducks. Cool. Yep. Nothing jumping out at me, so there's... Ah! Oh. Ho ho ho! There's another wheel clamp. And we've actually done this bridge before. So I'm going to get the magnet out. I, I'm running out of time, so I've literally only got time to grab that one uh, and pull it out. But yeah, look at, look at all the crap that's out of this bridge. Absolutely disgusting. Honestly, some people are just animals. Last time we come to uh, Burnley, we found I think it was 11 wheel comps in total. So, the uh, suggests to me like not a lot of people are paying road tax or illegally parking. But I found another free today, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to contact DVLA, see if there's like a reward scheme um, because I'm finding loads of these. It must cost them a lot of money as well. I know, I know they're quite rusty and they probably won't want them back but the ones in better condition uh, hopefully they might pay a reward if not I'll, um, I'll send them an email I'll ask if I can uh, the ones that are badly corroded if I can keep and I'll try and refurbish them uh, if not I'll, uh, I'll just scrap it for scrap metal but obviously it's their property so I'll see what they say and uh, if they respond to the email I'll uh, get back to you and I'll let, let everybody know what the situation is and if I keep them, uh, ring them and they'll buy them back off you or they'll collect them for free obviously it's all better out the water than in the water um, yeah. okay. loads of wheel comps just before you click away if you want to see my latest upload it's just at the top there if you want to see a video YouTube recommends it's just underneath it and don't forget to subscribe you can see all my latest uploads by clicking the magnet and I'll see you in the next one